Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Rebel Galaxy. I'm here at Ruble Station, guys, in the bar, and Garrus and I have decided to part company, and I need a new mercenary wingman. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Um, looks like he, it, he cost almost 21,000 credits to hire, but we do have the money to spare, so let's go ahead and have a chat. I am called Skiza. What are you looking at? Okay, I stand corrected. She. Word is you're quite the badass. Just seeing if the rumors are true. Looks can be deceiving, but not in this case. I fly, I kill, I am good at it. Just asking. I'm curious what sorts of hardware you have access to. My Rakova is specially modified. Not all pilots can use particle cannon with precision. This is not a problem for me. Good to know. Well, we might as well go ahead and give uh, Siska a try. Get some female companionship here in our travels. You convinced me. You're hired. We will see if you are worth the trouble. <laughs> Likewise. You won't be disappointed. Cool. So we've got almost 20,000 credits to play around with. I did a few jobs off camera. Let's see if there's anything new and exciting that we can uh, procure for the Tigress. One thing I need to do is I definitely need to upgrade the weapons. So the Mark II mining laser is 46,000 credits. So that means that if we want to get um, our ship completely hot rotted out with the best toys, you're going to do have to be doing a lot of jobs. So I'll tell you what we're going to do during this episode, guys. I think we're going to go and do as many jobs as we can to procure some scratch. And then maybe I'll just keep playing off camera and just slowly upgrade our turrets. So let's look at the mission board. Actually, are we close to the merchant guild? Because those are definitely more top paying jobs. All right. And we're closer than I thought we were. Let's go ahead and head that direction. Go take out some uh, pirates or such for our guild brethren. Because we're actually, we are level 2 um, in the Merchant's Guild. It just kind of happened suddenly. I wonder if that gives us access to some better missions too with bigger money. I would really like one of those missions that we got before where we just had to procure the specific type of cargo and head to, its desti head to the destination that actually wanted it because that paid off I think like 20,000 credits just for that one job. We're also going to uh, pay attention to any kind of um, unidentified signal or, dis or distress beacon we get. And we got right into a fight here. I like it. More Red Devil shenanigans. Well, let's go ahead and say hello. I d looks like you're fighting friendlies. Make you go away. There we are. Thank you, Siska. Grab some bio waste. And I think we just have two enemies out here. Looks like they're small gunships. Boop! Religious tracks. This is going to get us some good money. Oh, don't kill him. I want the kill shot. Haha! -ha. And some soy paste. Can't go wrong with good old soy paste. It says in the description that kids love soy paste. I would bet that this ship is very similar to uh, the Firefly, the Serenity, uh, in terms of the food that I am eating. Probably uh, protein and all the colors of the rainbow, as Mal Reynolds would say. Oh, Siska's ship looks awesome. Can we get a look at that again? It kind of looks uh, similar to the Virago, which was Shizor's ship in Shadows of the Empire. Stalking. 
All right, good old merchant guild. What do you got for me? Let's uh, actually, let's look at the equipment bay and see how much stuff costs here. Mach one. All right, so you just have the ion turret, which is not what I want. MK1 pulse cannon. I forgot you guys don't really do a whole lot in terms of weaponry, which is a shame. Alrighty. I think you guys are more in... Oh, also, I upgraded our uh, warp drive. So we've got, in terms of our upgrades, we've got Mark II engines, boosters, and warp drive. We've got our full hull shield and deflector capabilities. So all we need to work on right now is our weaponry. And we should be in good shape. What do you guys got in this? Same old, same old. And no jump drive available. Uh, sadness. And we will sell what we've got in the hold here. Narco cola. Oh, I forgot I had some narco cola here in the hold. Sell that for a nice profit. Looks like everything but the soy paste was um, higher than the system average. Oh, and the religious tracks. Alright. <laughs> Do you have a moment to discuss your personal belief systems? No? Hey, come back! So, we have some bio waste in the hold. Gotta offload that as soon as possible. Actually, because we are now level 2... Do we have anything new to talk about with the Guildmaster? Welcome to the Merchant's Guild. What can I Thanks All right, by apparently not. Mission board it is. Guild Data Cubes Freight. Um, distress call. Risk is high. But that's for a... Uh, Corian Gold Thief. What is this? Just spotted halfway across the system. Can't offer a reward, but you're free to keep any gold you can recover. That's new. Let's go ahead and try that one. Uh, we, can, we can do a rescue, storm distress. I'll tell you what, let's just grab all the things. We're trying to grab some money. Insufficient hold space. Ah, 11 units of data cubes. Alright, well, we'll come back to that. Um... All right, looking good. We just have to keep our repairs at a minimum, and everything should be Songbird. And that is seven thousand units away, thirty-five hundred. Woo! A little bit of lag there. Five thousand, five thousand, five thousand. And I've said it before, guys. Um, you know the little graphical issues because of the state, the state of my computer. Um, I do apologize for that, but if it, you guys don't mind it, I can persevere. So where, I guess, uh, Storm Distress first, since that is the closest one. Watched, uh, two really good movie trailers, um, yesterday, or last night, rather. They had the uh, trailer to Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, which is the new kind of Harry Potter um, world. Ooh! Corian Pirate Scout. I am much more confident getting stopped by these guys than I was before. Oh, I got those deflectors up just in time. There goes the Rift Jacker. The pirate scow is the thing that's going to be causing us any kind of significant amount of hurt. Boop. And... Oh, a bomber. Go away, bomber. Okay, Siska, let's see what you can do. Against some sort of, uh... Heavily armored ship. Well, it's not much of an outrage if you're the one doing the attacking. There we are. Nuts and bolts. And that seemed to be it there in terms of cargo. Alrighty. 
Guess that'll show you. But I'm not the biggest fan of Harry Potter in the world. I haven't read the books. Um, I've enjoyed the movies, though. I was a really big fan of the first two because it um, those movies had a very different vibe than the rest of the series because I believe his name's Chris Col Chris Columbus. He was the director of the first two, and those th those movies had a whimsy to them that I really really liked. And Richard Harris played an amazing Dumbledore, but I'm kind of curious to see. Oh, <laughs> it's a trap! I really want to see kind of it's set in New York, so I want to see what this uh, what the Wizarding World looks like in 1920s New York or something like that. And then I saw the uh, new trailer to Suicide Squad. Siska's cold-blooded. I like her. Let's get this bomber out of the way. Bet you guys are feeling real stupid right about now. Red Devil Axe Head. That's kind of a cool name for a ship. Let's keep the heat on. There we are. You are not long for this galaxy, my friend. Wait for those lasers to... Nice. Some more religious tracks. These pirates are very spiritual folk. Okay, Siska. Well, let's go ahead and take care of that. I, no, it's Skiza, not Siska. Skiza. But Suicide, Suicide Squad looks like a ton of fun. I can't wait to see that. One thing has been really interesting um, to... Well, not interesting. It's kind of sad, to tell you the truth. Um, reading the comment sections of uh, reaction videos and stuff. Just to see the Marvel and DC, the fanatical fanboys, go off on each other. It's kind of interesting. I, I'm a fan of both. Oh, oh, we're in a nebula. Let's, let's pulse. We've got a pirate scow, bombers, all the things that make life interesting. Oh, I'm about to hit a... There we go. <laughs> and there's a mercenary gunship as well. Another rift ja jacker down. Let's take out this pirate scow with its special beam cannon. Vendo preserve us. Oh, you ran into a rock, sir. I need to remember to keep using my broadsides. Those are something I need to upgrade as well. They'll get upgraded last, though. And we will take the soy paste. And it looks like there's only one more enemy. Ah, okay. One more pirate scout to go. Skiza's uh, weapons do do a lot of damage. I'm I'm actually a bit impressed by that. Cargo munitions. Alrighty. Cool, that'll actually pay it. Probably pay a decent penny. Let's make sure we do not hit any rocks. <laughs> and I believe that was the first quest done. Or first mission. Sorry, old MMO habits die very, very hard. Alright. Let us head to the next location. And I am noticing this warp drive is getting us through the system a lot faster than normal. So, definitely a good investment there. I'm looking forward to any good sci-fi movies. I mean, other than like Rogue One this year. I haven't seen a whole lot, I don't think, of any decent sci-fi movies that are going to come out this year. That makes me a sad panda. You always have to have some good sci-fi movies over the course of the year. 
Let's. There we are. There's a marauder down. Whoops. Sorry. Red Devil Bombers. Let's focus on this guy because they're focused on the on the merchant ship. Brakes. <laughs> I've gotten better about that. About stopping before I make the boom. Makes uh the Tigress's insurance rates much lower than they would normally be. And yik yak meat. And I think we just have some fighters to deal with, and we're good. She sounds, uh, Skiza sounds really familiar, and I can't put my finger on who she sounds like. Oh, we got an ordnance crate. We're full up on ordnance, though. Okay, Nicola, you are safe now. Good deal. Where's our next location? Oh, this is the Corian Gold Thief. We need to see what exactly we have to do here. I think a good portion of sci-fi these days is being restrict not restricted, but it with TV shows. Especially due to the fact that, thank God, the sci-fi channel seems to be going back to doing primarily sci-fi. Like, I'm a pro wrestling fan, but I... There was no reason for wrestling to be on the sci-fi channel. It made absolutely no sense. Okay, whoop! Ran right by him. Let's go ahead and pulse. There you are. I'm not even going to use the warp drive, we're just going to head up close the old-fashioned way. Nell Machlor, and you, you might be a really nasty ship if the threat level is red and it's just you. Let's go ahead and catch up with him. Seems to have a pretty, a pretty fast ship. Some good shields, too. Yeah, holy... Cr okay, now we're getting through. Slow down a little bit. Huzzah. Now, I want all the gold. <laughs> gold! I think we had one more to grab. Hook a you. Now, hopefully we can sell those for a decent profit. Now then, we got one more to go. This is the Guild Dead Drop. It's a good thing we can do this last, because then we can head back to the Merchant's Guild and get a new uh, group of missions. And this was the easy mission. Yeah, and I think this is definitely going to work out for us. We'll be able to grab a ton of money like this relatively quickly and especially if I'm doing some of this off camera the tiger should be fully equipped here before we know it and then after that the only uh, real obstacle we'll have to run into is my uh, skill or lack thereof alright there's the dead drop And where's the badness at? All around us, it looks like. Rift Tr Jacker will be first up on the chopping block. These Koreans must not like me at all. I don't think we have a faction with them, though. So they are very much like the Kilrathi from Wing Commander in the fact that, you know, they're always going... They're, they're either going. You're either going to have friendly traders or the rift jacker invader kind of vibe from them. They, they do have a, a heavy Kilrathi vibe to them too, and I actually love the Kilrathi 
from the uh, Wing Commander game. Not the movie, but the uh, how they looked in the Wing Commander game, what are the games, Wing Commander 3 specifically, was awesome. It was a great use of, of, of puppetry. Excellent. So there's some cargo. Metallic ore. I think our hold might be full after this. Hold full. Don't. Oh. All right. Hold is full. Collision warning. Ow. But no worries. Let us go ahead and actually, can we uh, check the hold? Cargo hold. Look at um, how much this stuff is worth. Soy pay system average of fifty. Can we... Ah, cool, we can jettison. So we'll leave the soy paste there for someone else to find. Maybe the militia. When they come by and... After hearing of some sort of firefight here in the asteroid field. Yeah. I have a feeling the metallic ore will be worth a little bit more than soy paste. Though I could be wrong, it is a strange universe we live in. And away we go. I don't know, what are you guys... Like, let me know in the comments below what kind of sci-fi you're currently watching. Because I am kind of with... I'm not watching any sci-fi right now. I do need to catch up on that... Boop, distress beacon. Need to catch up on this distress beacon. And uh, that one show I was telling you guys about with the... Inner Worlds versus Outer World kind of vibe to it. I got a few episodes in, but... Ugh. Another trap. Oh well. Tip. So, did that work out for you? Doesn't sound like it did. Thank you, Skiza. And Retaliator is done. What did you drop? Bio waste. And, ooh, more munitions. Let's go ahead and drop... Oh, the metallic ore actually wasn't worth that much. Let's drop the religious tracks. And grab the munitions. Boop! Kind of curious to see what those are. Alright, back on track. Don't! Oh. That's unfortunate. Let's try that again, but a little less fail this time. Well, I haven't had a whole lot of distress calls that haven't been uh, pirate ambushes. But fortunately, we are a little too nasty for your run-of-the-mill pirates in this uh, system. I don't know what it was with that when we were actually trying to uh, do the main quest. It's just there were there was badness everywhere, and it didn't seem during that second attempt that I had any backup to speak of. So, once we get all hot-rotted out, like more so than we already are, I think we'll be in a much better position, because I lasted a long time in that fight, so at least we know our defensive capabilities are definitely there. We just have to make sure that our turrets and the rest of our weapon systems uh, stay, in stay intact. Now, let's look at our money here. 56000 Good deal. So, essentially, one of those runs that we just did is going to get us a uh, Mark II turret. I'm thinking. But let's go to the commodities market and see how much we can sell our stuff for. Ooh, the gold is marked down. Like, cash for gold scheme style marked down. Let's see here. Storm Station. Let's look at the gold. Exported to Augustus 6. Rust City was 6,000. Holy crap. Yeah, we definitely need to move somewhere or go somewhere else to move this gold. The Yik Yak Meat. I can go ahead and deal with that. Munitions. Hmm. 
Oh, system average is 431. No, thank you. Metallic ore is at a higher price than normal. And nuts and bolts is about the same. And we can't sell the bio waste. So our holds are full of stuff that's probably going to pay off some good dividends to us. So I guess probably the best place to go... Rust City and... Well, let's look at the mission board and see what new we've got. Oh, we can go grab some more. 69,000 credits? A premium... 11 units of gold, ah, I see, of 69,134 credits payment is offered. Okay, we will give that a go. So let's leave this for now. We need to go someplace with uh, where we can buy guns anyway. Actually, I didn't even check. If gold is cheap here, that might mean... Wait a minute, where's the station? It's like we're right above... Ah, there it is. <laughs> Let's see if they offer it gold. I didn't even pay attention to that. Gold? You have gold? Yes? Supply of three. Ah, and much... And very, very cheap. So we will... Grab that. Awesome. Now, how much did they need? 11 units, and we've got six. So we need five more. That was actually very, very fortuitous. What's the closest base that won't try and shoot us down? Let's try the Lavarati Expanse Outpost. Because this will definitely get us another turret. And I'm completely okay with that. Yeah, we have to head over there across system to sell the gold off. But we'll head over here and see if there's any gold. Maybe buy an upgrade to the turret. And then I think we'll call it a day. What? Double jack pirates, huh? Come here, guys. I, quite frankly, have had enough of your sass. With your gunships and such. There we are. I'm thinking, actually, about changing the priority of my wingmen and of my turrets. I want my turrets to deal with fighters first before they attack big ships. Because I've noticed that the fighters have been giving me more problems than anything. And now it's just us, friend. I'll accept your surrender, if you wish. Can I, can I actually hail you? Doesn't look like it. Yep. Nope. That's a shame. So we're just going to chill... And make you go boom. What do you got in your... Oh, you had no cargo. Sad days. Got to hold out on me. Actually, I think this is probably a good place to stop, guys. So, we may do this for one more episode. It'll really depend on how much money we're able to acquire. I've enjoyed myself. And, uh... We'll see how much nastier we can make the Tigress. But if you guys like the episode, go ahead and click like down below. Oh, hell's bells. <laughs> Subcri subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. And we'll see you guys next time. Later days, everyone.